So today we have a 19 year old female. She has been complaining of pain in her left calf for two days. She is a smoker. She is on birth control. She takes the pill. Um, she was admitted for a risk of a pulmonary embolism. She's receiving anticoagulant therapy. Possibly we would like to discharge her tomorrow. She is complaining of no pain at this time and she does have an IV saline lock on her right hand. So we're going to go ahead and give her a little bit of a head to toe and a more focused assessment and see what we can find out and where she's at. So. <laughs> Good morning. morning. How are you feeling this morning? I feel a lot better. You do? Good. Mm -hmm. um, can I get your name and date of birth just to make sure that we're in the right room? Ann Miller, April 10th, 1985. Wonderful. And I'm just going to go ahead and check your band here. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Um, we're not having any difficulty breathing today? No. No pain, shortness of breath, anything no. like that? Okay. Good. I'm going to go ahead and listen to your lungs a little bit here and make sure that everything sounds good. If I could just have you lift up your gown a little bit, then we'll try and be a little discreet here. There we go. Can you take a deep breath? Very good. I'll just listen down here. Sounds awesome. Can I have you lean forward for me a little bit? Sure. And I'm going to have you take a couple more deep breaths. Sounds wonderful. I do not hear anything to be concerned about at this time. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hook this up. We're just going to check um, the saturation of your blood with oxygen. I'll just put on this finger here. Turn it on and let it sit for a minute. We'll let that measure. I'm going to count your respirations. We'll see how many times you take a breath in a minute, okay? You must be in good shape. Why is that? You seem very efficient when you breathe. Don't have a whole lot of uh, hyperventilation going on there. That's good. And your O2s are good. 98%. That's what we like to see. Go ahead and put that away. And I'm going to take your temp here. Good. 97.8. That's awesome. And I'll take your blood pressure too. Okay. 
120 over 80, you are textbook. Wow. Oh, I'm impressed. You make my day much easier. What a great patient. came in with that, uh, your left calf hurting, huh? Yeah. What brought that on? Do you know what were you doing before when you kind of noticed it was hurting? Just exercise. Mm. Does that hurt when I press on it like this? No. At all? Okay. I don't see any swelling. Um, I do feel a pulse over here, which is good. That's a good sign over here as well. If I can have you take this foot and push it against my hand a little bit. Wonderful. Very good, very good. And if I could just have you take your hands and squeeze my fingers here, I'm just checking for good strength. Wonderful. Okay. I'm gonna listen to your heart and your um, bowel sounds a little bit. Make sure everything's Copacetic with all that. Sounds good. Okay. Awesome. And let's see. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Everything sounds great in there. Thank you very much. Do you want me to sit you back up? Yes, please. Okay. How's that for you? Good. Thank you. All right. Um, I'll take your pulse too. I guess I kind of forgot to hit that one. That's important. Make sure you're still alive. You look okay. You feel okay? I feel pretty good. Good too. Do you think I'll go home tomorrow? Um, that's the plan. Uh, right now, they have they did a lab test on you, and it's called a PTINR. Basically, it's how long it takes your blood to clot. Um, your blood is about at a zero point nine. We'd like to see it between two and three. So that's why they started you on the Coumadin. Um, they're worried about this, your leg hurting, and there being a blood clot in there. 
So now that we've got this drug started, they'll probably redo your lab values tomorrow morning. If we get you up to where we'd like to see you at, they will be able to discharge you and you'll be able to go, go home. Um, I see that you are a smoker and you are on birth control. Mm -hmm. How long have you been smoking? About five years now. Okay. And so, so um, for the past two years, have you been smoking more or less? About a pack a day. Okay. Um, it is a little bit of a risk and that's probably why your blood is a little thicker than it should be um, because you are smoking with the birth control. It's a, a risk that you're going to take with any kind of birth control that you take at this time. So I would encourage you to think about quitting smoking and I know how tough that can be. We do have some resources that I can get for you if you'd be interested in that. Um, let's see. After you after you go home, it would probably be a good idea, once your doctor says it's okay for you to start exercising, making sure that you have a little bit of a healthy diet with some of these negative risk factors that you have going on. Whatever you can do to kind of boost that is um, a good idea so that we can keep you as healthy as possible. Um, the doctor did put you on the Coumadin. Did he explain any side effects that you might have with that? No, not really. He didn't say a lot. Okay. Um, we do have nausea and um, some cramping. The main thing that you're going to have to worry about is bleeding. It thins your blood out. So if you have any injuries like a, a cut on your foot, say you were swimming or stepped on a glass bottle or something or bumping yourself into tables or things like that, you might you need to be careful with that because um, your bleeding time is increased and so we're going to have some risk of bleeding out. And, Hopefully someone can get there to help you in time. <laughs> I don't want to scare you, but it is um, something that you should think about. So uh, is there, I, I know you have an IV saline lock in your hand. I'm just going to go ahead and check that. I only need one of these. We'll save that one for somebody else. So just check your hand here. Look for any redness. Tenderness, does that hurt? No. Okay, that's good. If we need to put any medications in there, we want to make sure that that is open and ready for that. Um, see, I think everything looks pretty good. Do you have any questions before I go? No. Okay. Well, good. I hope you have a good rest of the afternoon, and I'm here for a couple more hours yet, so I'll probably see you again if you need anything. Okay. You just call me. We have your call light in place. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. We'll go ahead and put that down for you. All right. Have a good afternoon.